Hello everybody, this is Gabriel Gar, and today we are playing Stardew Valley. In this video I'm going to show you 9 secrets that can be found around Pelican Town. Number 1, the Junimo Statue. The Junimo Statue can be located behind the community centre. To find it, go behind the community centre and go to the right hand side. Hover your mouse over the Pelican Town sign until it turns into a hand. Then hit it with your pick. This will reward you with the Junimo statue. Number 2. The Junimo Plush When you find secret note number 13, it will direct you to go to the bush behind the playground at exactly 12 noon on the last day of any season. It doesn't matter what season you do this. Approach the bush just before 12 noon and when the timer turns to 12, right click the bush and you'll be rewarded with the Junimo plush. You can then place this cute plush anywhere you like. Number 3, Mayor Lewis Statue. Once you discover secret note number 19, it will give you directions for uncovering a secret. The path starts outside Jody's house and brings you across Pelican Town, leading you to behind Mayor Lewis's house. If you go right over to the left hand side of the house and move down, you should pick up the Golden Lewis Statue. Unlike the Junimo statue, you have to uncover the secret note before you can get this statue. You can place the statue in town for everyone to see, or you can place it in your farm for a nice decoration. Number 4. Decorative Trash Can To get the decorative trash can, you need to fish in the fountain by the community center. It may take you a good few tries before you get it, but you will eventually fish it up. It's not a functional trash can, or do anything, but it's a cool decoration to place on your farm. Number 5. Pinky Lemon To get the Pinky Lemon statue, you will first need to get some duck mayonnaise. Bring this mayo to the back room in the Star Drop Saloon. On the left hand side there is a small box. If you place the duck mayonnaise in the box, you will get the pinky lemon statue. Number 6. HMTGF This statue has a strange name that must mean something to Concerned Ape. To get this statue, you need to start by catching a Super Cucumber. Super Cucumbers can be caught in the sea at night during summer and fall. Once you have caught the Super Cucumber, head to the little woods behind Clint's. On the right hand side there is a hidden opening. In here you will find another box. Once you place the Super Cucumber in the box, you will get the statue. Number 7. Forogumon. To obtain this statue, you will need to get your hands on a strange bun. Strange buns can be found in the mines when killing shadow brutes, or it can also show up in Krobus' shop every now and again. You can also make a strange bun once you reach 7 hearts with Shane. Go into Vincent's room and place the strange bun in his toy box. This will give you the Furuguman statue. Number 8. Iridium Crobus One of my favourite statues in the game has to be the Iridium Crobus statue, but also one of the more difficult ones to obtain. 
The easiest way to do this is to craft a sea foam pudding with key seasoning. Once your fishing is at level 10, eating this will bump you up to level 15. You will need the extra long cast to get the statue. Travel through the sores to come out the very end of the forest. Eat the sea foam pudding and cast into the water. You will fish up the Iridium Crobus. Number 9. Theater Collectibles Once you complete the secret bundle and unlock the movie theater, you will be able to try your hand at the claw machine. When you enter the movie theater, you can have a go if the machine is free. When you enter, there is a 25% chance it will be occupied, and it is always occupied after the movie. You can get a range of mini Junimo plushes, stuffed animals and a few decorations. You can also get a poster for the movie that is currently playing. When the movie Wombus is playing, you have a chance to get either the Wombus or Bobo statue. The movie Wombus will play in the summer after you unlock the movie theatre and every two years after that. So if you want to pick this one up, make sure you do it early or you'll have to wait two years to get the opportunity again. Thanks so much for watching. If there's any other Stardew Valley secrets you know of, or any you think I missed, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. And as always, have a great day!